I was used to going out and drinking and boat racing and tearing up bars, and I certainly wasn't interested in turning uh, kids over and changing their gooey diapers. I wasn't interested in putting them to bed. At that time, we were still s smoking marijuana all the time. I was taking uppers to get up in the morning, downers to go to sleep at night. He was seemed to be off doing what he enjoyed doing, or I was off doing what I enjoyed doing. I'd find that by having a, a martini or two, why certainly made things a lot more pleasant and she could kind of say whatever she'd like and I still just kind of went about what was pleasing to me. It's really frustrating to have a late night conversation which was the only time he had when I'm pouring out my heart telling him all these ways in which I want to relate to him and have him go sound asleep. The frustration was more than I could bear. More than I could bear. <laughs> Booze was number one priority in his life. Number two was his uh, friends. Number three was his drugs. Now, we never went out, did anything together alone. So it was a real surprise to me that he invited me to go to dinner with him. And during the course of the dinner, uh, he asked me for a divorce. And it wasn't until a friend of mine invited me to a Christian woman's club that I heard a testimony by another woman which conveyed to me the power that God could have in healing a life and a marriage. A friend of mine invited me to a Bible study meeting in a home and uh, of course I had no intention of doing that. I had enough trouble as it was. I didn't need to do that. Um, but I went and uh, the Lord made himself known to me in a very exciting and real way. So in a bathroom I laid my drink aside, I put out my cigarette, and I knelt down beside a tub and hung on to a shower curtain. And I asked God to heal my marriage. And he was removing all that ugly bitterness and hatred in me that had just accumulated over this awful marriage that we had. And I knew he was giving us a brand new marriage. He was doing something holy and new. <laughs> we didn't deserve any of it, but he was doing it. <laughs>